Well, not the best start to the morning. Heard some goblin around, but they went the other way. Move locations, I'm hunting an alfalfa field now. I'm hoping they go out in this alfalfa field and they'll strut around. There's a lot of tracks and there's actually, you can see the strut marks from a tom in some of this bare dirt in the alfalfa field. You can see where his wings were and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully, hopefully it means he'll be back.
close and facing right at me. I mean, that's 10, 15 yards tops. And this one's five yards. If I had another permit, I could have shot him. But man, these two hens came in and they were not happy with her. They were not happy with her. And then this Tom, look at this, look at this. He's still, he's still angry. Look at that. He doesn't want anything to, like, he is, a, he is pissed. here he is look at that beard on him a nice one That's the biggest spurs he's got pretty good pretty good it's a nice mature tom you can tell it's merriam's because he's their feathers will be a little more white so that's the difference really on them shorter beard yeah awesome you can't ride up a turkey hunt any better than that oh man look at that that is a nebraska merriams never got one of these before in my life always wanted to and finally made it happen today he's on his way back out in beautiful eastern nebraska now had a really great turkey hunt. Got my first Merriam's last weekend. Gonna go for an Easterns this weekend. So right now I'm out where we'll be hunting. Just a soybean field, some trees. Uh, the turkey roost is like back right in there somewhere in those trees. Just putting my ground blind out today. So, you know, don't have to worry about it in the dark and don't have to have headlamps when we walk in to, you know, set up on them. All right, there we are. All set up, ready for tomorrow. All right, back in the blind. Didn't make it out yesterday afternoon, but I'm out here this morning and got about three turkey roost around me. The one right in front's about 100, 150 yards away. The other ones are further off. But hard to say. Yesterday, this roost, they went the other way they went to the east I'm on the west side of it so hopefully they'll come this way today I don't know sounds like there's at least a couple toms up there they're cobbling away right now it'll be a bright one it had a nice full moon last night not cloud in the sky there's not a breath of wind right now it is really quiet the birds are all talking the turkeys are cobbling one of the best parts about being out here, you know, hunting turkeys in the spring, is just listening to all the stuff before sunrise. About, it's about 8 o'clock now. I've seen a total of three hens. The toms that were closest to me, they kind of shut up. They're not really talking as much. There's a group behind me a good ways, but they keep gobbling every five minutes or so. But there's just some hens still. They'll come out of the timber and go go down below me or up around me. They're just kind of milling around. The toms don't seem to be chasing them yet. So hopefully they'll start following these hens into this field and see my decoy.
this decoy maybe seven or eight yards away. And I could have shot him, but I kind of want to wait and see if I can get a big tom in here. <laughs>
to Merriam's a week ago today and came out here um, you know I knew where the roost was just from scouting earlier in the year and uh, worked out great worked out great there he is Nebraska Easterns and you can tell the difference here if you remember on the Merriam's this was a lot wider the tips of their other fans a lot wider we fan him out yeah see he's got that broken broken fan feather that's the exact same tom as when he was fanned out i would notice i noticed that gap there but that look at that doesn't matter they're all beautiful gorgeous i made a good clean shot let's see what the beard looks like well there's the wad look at that wad stuck right there that's a nice beard. That's a nice beard. That's probably, I don't know, 10 inches. Let's see the spurs. Oh, look at that. He's got busted spur. And he's got a big old spur. This is a big old tom. Big old bird. But, all right. That's the exact same tom that fooled me earlier this morning. And I can tell that because that fan feather, I noticed the gap when he was out strutting out in the field around here. And he finally got him, got him talked in. Back out in the ground blind doing some turkey hunting today. I'm set up on a little alfalfa field. I just heard some gobbles off to my east. There's other roosting, I don't know, a couple hundred yards over that way. But I've got two decoys I got in and a small Tom strutter decoy out. We'll see if that can't do the trick. Turkeys have been tough this year, but hopefully I can get my second one so far. Got the 28 gauge out again too. Hoping I can get my second turkey with it. Yeah, I've been out here about two hours. The roost off to the east of me. I don't know, I've heard them maybe once in the last hour. And I don't think they're getting much closer, but I'm hearing some down to the south. There was a roost down there too and there's a couple toms goblins so maybe they'll work their way up here but nothing coming around this way yet which is kind of surprising i figured they'd be out in these alfalfa meadows this morning but maybe they're coming then just shut up i have no clue and that little black dot all the way over by that pivot tower is the first turkey. If you look to the left, there's a hen. That's a tom. They are at least a quarter mile away, maybe more. But first turkeys that I've seen today. There's another two toms moving in along this pivot. On the left side, there's two. I think they're toms. They kind of look like them from this distance. And then on the right, there's a hen. And there's another tom somewhere around there with her. And another one kind of working in. So there's like, I don't know four or five turkeys out there in this field. I'm guessing that was some of them that were on the roost both to the south and to the east of me. And they didn't come up this way yet. They need to ditch the Jolines and get up here. But at least I'm seeing them. That's first part of the battle. And this is about as close as these toms got. Maybe just a little bit closer, but after watching them at this range for 10, 15 minutes, you know, I figured they'd come right in. They hung up for whatever reason. I figured I better take advantage of this opportunity.
turkey down, turkey down. There's the other one. Oh. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> my heart was beating. So I had my decoys right out here. And these two toms came here and I thought that hen would bring them out. This other tom's still out here in this alfalfa field. He's only about 30, 30 yards. They came to five yards. They just wouldn't come right in front. So I had to move my camera, move my gun. And I'm like, there's no way I can miss this shot. 28 gauge, got it done. He is right here. Let's go take a peek. Okay. Right here to right here. Look at that. That's maybe closer than five yards. But I had to, I had to fold this down with my gun barrel because it was Velcroed up. There was just a little slit and they were right here. One was here and the other, I think he was like right here and the other one was right behind him. And they just wanted to come into my spread. Just wanted to come into my spread. The hen did and I figured once the hen did, I'd get both of them, but that's awesome. 28 gauge, got it done again. Here he is. Obviously made a great shot on his head, which at five yards, kind of hard not to. And he's double bearded. Look at that. He's got a little guy up here. And, I don't know, that's probably eight, nine inches. Spurs not very long though, that's crazy. For how long this beard is, the spurs, I mean those may be three quarters of an inch, if that. Just tiny spurs, but, I mean he's obviously a mature tom. You can see he just looks like a wet rag. These birds were out in the rain. It rained all day yesterday. But, you can, I mean look at his fan. You can tell he's a mature bird. That is cool. I've never shot a double double bearded, triple bearded. He's got three beards. That is awesome. I've never shot even a double bearded, but triple bearded Tom. <sighs> After all the bad luck I've been having this turkey season and all the work I put in up in the Pine Ridge, having one come into five yards and just put him down with one shot, 28 gauge once again, that was awesome. They wouldn't come right to the decoys. I don't know if they were intimidated by my small Tom Jake decoy or what the deal was there, but there was two Toms and I had to spin around. Luckily I was in my ground blind and it had an opening, but it wasn't quite open. So I had to like kind of shimmy it down with my gun barrel. And I mean, at that range, he was close enough. I don't know. It would have been extremely bad if I missed him. I'll just say that, but nice Tom. First multi-bearded Tom I've ever shot. I didn't even see the other two beards until I got up to him. That is awesome. Good morning out here, doing some more turkey hunting. It's the last weekend before shotgun opener here in Nebraska. And I'm out here targeting some Merriams. I'm just running, I don't know, I'm trying a different spread today. I've just got my N decoy, and then I picked up a J decoy that's not strutting. So we'll see if that can't entice some Toms in here, but I'm not too far away from there's two of them that I can hear gobbling right now. There's one, I don't know, probably half a mile or more away. And then there's another one four or 500 yards away. So I would guess these close ones are going to come through here at some point today. Hopefully, hopefully first thing this morning, don't have to wait too long, but I don't have my decoy set out too far. I'm trying to get them in pretty close because once again, archery, a little tough, but We'll see, see if we can't make something happen before shotgun opens. It's supposed to be really windy today, so I've got a windbreak right at my back. I'm just on this alfalfa field, and uh, it should should keep the wind off them, so they should either hug to the tree line or come right out in the field if they want to go strut around and pick out some bugs and whatnot. Been out here a couple hours, and I seen one turkey, so a turkey from that south roost came all the way up and he joined wherever those ones over there are. <sighs> but that's it. I, I mean, I can hear the hens talking, so they're not too far away. They're just not coming this way yet. So, I don't know. We got the 
the sun up. Wind's kind of whipping up too. I would guess at some point today they'll make their way over here. Hopefully sooner rather than later, but we'll be ready when they do. There's like five or six turkeys coming this way, at least one Tom that I can see. Oh, my heart's already pumping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's my first first turkey with a bow. Oh there's where's the other ones at here? Oh, they all went back. There was so there's at least this one tom and there's a bearded hen. And the bearded hen was pretty close too. I mean I got him in. There's my decoys right there. And there he is. I got him in like three, four yards. I made a perfect shot. I stuck, stuck the arrow right in his side. Oh my gosh, that is exhilarating. <laughs> let's go, let's go see him. Holy cow, holy cow. Oh my gosh. There he is, first turkey with the bow. And we didn't go too far. There's my ground blind, my two setup. And they just came him pretty good look at that though that's perfect shot perfect shot oh my gosh beautiful old tom let's look at his beard pretty nice beard we'll get a measurement on that but... that worked oh that is awesome such a beautiful bird that was exhilarating. Holy cow. <sighs> First archery turkey. And last year, you know, I missed missed a shot on a Jake. And then Josh and I, we couldn't seal the deal when we went out hunting. Went out last weekend, no luck. Didn't even see a turkey last weekend. Come out here and had to wait a couple hours. You know, they had to get down from the roost and do their thing and then here comes a bunch of hens and this one tom and there was a bearded hen in there too i saw a bearded hen she walked by just a little wispy little beard and i was like yeah, i'm not shooting a bearded hen that's because i seen this tom coming in here and he's i mean he had to be four four or five yards tops and made an excellent shot on him he only went 20 25 yards after that just and just dropped <laughs> you, i mean you can't write it up any better than that I'm still super excited. Uh, gosh dang, this this is addicting. And shotgun season opens up. I still have two tags left to go out. Hopefully get one with the 28 gauge once again. And, uh, and then break in my new 20 gauge with one as well. But oh man, I am pumped. That was, that was a thrill. That, 
Oh, I can see why people love bow hunting. I mean, it can be frustrating, especially because you got to get them in close, but when it all comes together and you make a great shot, holy cow, that's just something about it. This won't be the last time I bow hunt turkey. I can guarantee that. So I did some measurements. He's got three quarter inch spurs and then eight and a half inch beard. That's pretty nice for a Merriam's. And oh man, <laughs> I mean, they just came in beautifully. Got the hens coming in and I was, you know, they were a little hesitant at first and I talked them in. And then once they came in, they just started coming in and he closed the gap quick. He was kind of hanging back there and he, <laughs> he came right in there. So, oh, what a day, what a great day. Good morning. Second sit of the day already. First sit went out right before a thunderstorm. Thunderstorm rolled in. I heard a few gobbles. And no turkeys after that. Rain, lightning, that whole big deal. And then we just had some spotty showers here and there. And uh, decided to pack up, switch spots because the wind kicked up. It's going to be a high wind. So I kind of picked a little sheltered area. I'm just hunting a little alfalfa field here. And I've already saw some turkeys. I saw about probably 10. I don't know. Uh, there's at least one Tom in there with him. And then I saw another separate Tom away, away, away. Trying to get one with my new 28 first one. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get something come this way. I just saw some turkeys. I don't know, about an hour ago. They shut up. Never heard them. But I think I can sneak them. I might do a little run and gun. Try to get out in front of them and... Uh, Maybe fire up a dog, get him coming in without a decoy. I'll just leave my set here and, I don't know, we'll give it a try and see what happens. Yes. Oh my gosh. I just used my mouth call and he came up right here. I mean, he was 15 yards here. I couldn't get a shot because I didn't want to move and I didn't want to, you know, didn't want him to see me. But he got right here and this was the opening. I could see him through here and he cut up that way instead of coming down this way. So let's go see him. Oh my gosh. It's a nice old Tom. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Yeah, here he is. Oh, those are probably three quarter inch spurs. Get a tape on those for sure. So he's been drumming a little bit. That's there. Look at this beard. Oh man. 
That is a nice old beard on that guy. Look how white his fan is, his tail feathers, just gorgeous old Tom. Gorgeous old Tom, that is beautiful bird. Good morning, back out for a turkey hunt up in the Pine Ridge. It's kind of been a, a tradition at this point, but with Tyler and Brad. And uh, forecast does not look the best for this weekend. It's supposed to rain a lot tomorrow, high winds, and uh, we got rain coming in, so we've got to set up camp really quick. But we have heard a gobble already. We literally just got here, and uh, we're gonna throw camp up quick and go chase them. Predictions, Tyler? Um, with this weather, it's gonna be tough. But I, th I think we can get one this afternoon yet before this weather moves in, I really do. And tomorrow we'll... <laughs> Now it's thundering. Tomorrow's going to be we'll hard. We'll see what happens. 55 mile an hour gusts. So I don't know. We're going to give it a try, though. That's, That's all we can we do. Can do. Oh, we got a couple more sticks. What's this? Camp's all set up. We just heard a bird gobble not too far away. We're going to go see if we can get him. Brad's up first. Nice! Yes! What's that? 15 minutes? Already got a bird down? Not even. <laughs> Not even. I mean, we're only 300 yards from camp. It's a lot easier hike in than last year. Oh man. That was... That glad was, you got him, man. I'm glad somebody got him, but man, I was hoping you would. That's alright. The whole That's time right. I was like... There's plenty more birds, a lot more time. Tyler has a shot. I hope he shoots, because... I gotta get my shell. I don't have... I'd have to turn and make noise. That's yeah. If he came this way, one of us would have had a shot, yeah, yeah, but he yeah. just came right up that draw. I was I was say. thinking I was like he's gonna go right to that sound, and if he does, he's gonna work up. The, up See, I th I thought he'd come up this clearing. That's what That's we thought. That's why I was behind you. But he he was just working the low. It's nuts. All right, 15 minutes in. I nice step, buddy. All right, let's do it. Let's I kind I feel bad. We just heard another gobble about the same direction, so. Well, let's go do it again. You're up, Brad. Shoot, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, Matt. Shoot it, get up. Got him, got him. Hey, he's just sitting there. 
Well, I didn't know. I didn't know that second one was there. I thought it was just the one, and the other one kept going. Did you hear me say, "Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him!" <laughs> After a while, I did. Three down. Three down in, in an hour, or not even. Well, here's the real dilemma. Look at that beard. Nice. It's a nice old bird. <sighs> Starting to sprinkle. Yeah, let's get off this hilltop. <laughs> Woo. Three birds in 45 minutes. We were taking pictures of Tyler's, heard gobbles, came over here, called him in. I didn't have the most solid rest. Brad was sitting down and they crested this tree right, or this hill right here. Brad got his one shot. I missed my first shot, got him second shot. He, he didn't move <laughs> after that. So they were, under, they were under hundred yards out here in this meadow. First Pine Ridge bird, third time is the charm. Oh. Feels good, feels good. Now we gotta pack all these birds up and- uh, Yours was 24 yards, Brad. 24 yards. So mine was probably 30. Yeah. So 24 and 30 yards, easily. Brad shot his, this bird stuck around for two shots. I, I don't know if I flinched my first shot or what I did, but he gave me another opportunity. Well, the rain is finally starting to let up. <laughs> we beat it out here. As soon as we shot our last bird, it started sprinkling and then it just, it's been raining the last two hours. But now it looks like it's gonna let up looking from the radar. The wind's supposed to whip up, but that might help get the turkeys out in kind of some meadows or open areas to dry off. And uh, we still have two more tags to fill. I have one, Tyler has one, so. We still got, I don't know, seven hours, six hours till sundown and we'll see what happens. We got some gobbler tracks here, or turkey tracks. Not too far from town. The only thing I don't talk. like, the only thing I don't like is we'll be coming in behind them. We'll be going with the wind too so they'll hear any sound we make. <laughs> And that is gonna do it for the Pine Ridge trip. We originally planned to stay a few days, but looking at the forecast, it's supposed to be wind gusts over 60, both tonight into most of tomorrow. And uh, so we haven't heard a gobble since that rain started. And it rained for like three hours. It's supposed to rain a thunderstorm tonight. Lows down in like the upper 20s. So <laughs> not gonna be a great night to be out in the tent. All our stuff's already damp. And uh, I don't know, we gave it a good go and we shot three gobblers in 45 minutes. So we're not gonna get too greedy. We figured we'd give it a go since we were already up here this afternoon. And we actually did see some birds. We saw some fresh tracks and actually saw Tom strutting a long ways away, tried to sneak up on him and we just never could get in front of him. So that's how it goes. But going back home with three birds in the bag, that is an amazing, amazing time. And was able to finally, third time's the charm, get my first Pine Ridge gobbler. Phenomenal. <laughs> Three birds in 45 minutes. Yep. I don't know if you ever top that again. Good morning back out for my third turkey. Had a successful hunt in the Pine Ridge and uh, have one more tack to fill. So back out, 28 gauge. Got four decoys. I don't know, try to make just make a little, look like a little turkey set up. Got one Jake and three hens and uh, we'll see what happens. I heard some gobbles way, 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 way off, but finally have some nice weather here in Nebraska. Rained a couple days ago and super windy the last couple days as well. Light wind today, sunny. So hopefully gets the turkeys in the mood to just gobble their heads off and come in strut, but we'll see. First turkeys of the day. Gobbles other than one ways away early this morning. So these three. 
aliens just showed up. Now there's a Dom. I don't know where he came from, but he's out there strutting up a little bit. They're working this way slowly. We'll see what happens here. Looks like a nice bird, but he's still a ways away. Yeah, he's got a full fan. So. Come on, turkeys.
Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was exhilarating. <sighs> Came right to the Jake decoy. Oh. I waited, waited a long time today. Oh, and finally, I mean, I've been seeing them out in this field all morning and these two hens and this guy came up. Didn't it gobble though, but he came. As soon as the hens started coming this way, he came right on a line to my Jake decoy and I just shot him at five yards. Oh, that is exhilarating. Holy smokes. What a way to end turkey season. Oh, nice old Tom came right in. He is. Let's check out that beard on him. Man, that is a long, long beard. And look at those spurs. Jeez. Nice, nice old, beautiful bird. Awesome, 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 awesome. And that is gonna do it for turkey season here in Nebraska. I really wanted to get out today because we finally got rid of some of the winds that we've had for it seems like the last month. They didn't talk. They didn't talk as much as I thought they would have. I heard maybe three gobbles all morning. And finally, two hens and this Tom came up. The hens stayed out, but he came to check out the Jake decoy and I shot him at about six, five, six yards, something like that, 28 gauge once again. Just an amazing, amazing hunt to cap off turkey season.